1. Limit confectionery, animal products, and refined carbohydrates. Your doctor will usually recommend a diet that's right for you, because there's no one-size-fits-all plan for everyone with high blood sugar or diabetes. However, if you experience high blood sugar, you should reduce your intake of meat, dairy products, white bread, white rice, potatoes, and sweet foods. 2. Eat plenty of fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. People with high blood sugar are advised to eat these and other foods high in fiber and low in fat. However, not all people with high blood sugar can eat whole grains, so consult your doctor before including these foods in your daily diet. Eat fresh apples, dried apricots, or canned peach juice. Avoid eating canned or frozen canned fruits. It is recommended to eat at least 3 cups, 700 milliliters, of raw vegetables or 1.5 cups, 350 milliliters, of cooked vegetables per day. You can choose from vegetables such as artichokes, cucumbers, or lettuce. Fresh vegetables are often better than frozen or canned vegetables because they are sometimes laced with sodium. Oatmeal and barley are especially beneficial for most people with high blood sugar. Note that eating too many carbohydrates can raise blood sugar and cause obesity. 3. Learn about foods. If you're not sure which foods are harmful, consult your doctor or learn about the glycemic index, which includes detailed information on its effects on blood sugar, but not on your overall health. Closing parenthesis dot. You should avoid high GI foods with a GI rating of 70 or higher if you have high blood sugar. Instead, choose low GI foods, GI ratings of 55 or less, like the foods recommended above. You can load up on foods with a rating of 55 to 70 and a medium rating in a moderate amount depending on your needs. 4. Limit smoking and alcohol. When you take these substances into your body every day or in large amounts, you affect your body's ability to produce insulin to help control blood sugar. If you're trying to quit smoking, you need to know that nicotine products have similar health effects. You can use nicotine patches or gummies as a temporary substitute, but this is not a long-term solution for treating high blood sugar. 5. Understand the nature of assertions about specific foods. Many articles often claim that common foods can still help control blood sugar or related health problems, but this information is not always drawn from quality medical studies. Hi. Several studies involving coffee have had mixed results, so the overall effect on blood sugar is unclear. A study on cinnamon has shown some health benefits, but these results have only been tested in a group of people. All were over 40, despite having type 2 diabetes, did not use insulin therapy or medication for health conditions other than diabetes. Even if the claim is reasonable, you should know that a single food cannot completely replace exercise, dietary changes, or other medical treatments.